I bought another car. And this was either a really good decision or a really bad decision. Now we're all guilty of it. Scrolling aimlessly through Facebook Marketplace, eBay, or Craigslist, looking for good deals on cars and just cars that we don't need. Now today, I think I found something special. You guys know how much I love Porsches. I got my 911 SC and became absolutely obsessed. And for today, we got a really good deal on one, but there's a slight issue. Well, maybe it's a big issue. The car's wrecked. This is a 2016 981 Cayman GTS. Now before we start tearing this apart, let me tell you guys the story of how we got this car. Now to understand why this car is so special, let's start from the beginning. Oof. Oh yeah. a good find. Let's see what we got. What are we getting into? Like I said, we're all guilty of browsing online marketplaces. Only this time, it was Tiana, not me. I found it. This is my <laughs> fault. A couple of hours after its posting, we stumbled across this. This is the first time we've taken on something this big, so we were a little bit skeptical. But we knew we wanted a challenge. We went for it. Kevin, <sighs> it's my car now. Oh, oh I mean, I hate you. <laughs> now, I definitely think understanding the previous owner of the car is very important to this story. This is Kevin, and Kevin is an awesome person. We'll get into what actually happened in just a bit. First, let's take a closer look at the car. Well, we're doing something that we've always wanted to do, and uh, we actually found a really awesome bill from our guy Kevin here. It still smells you brand new in there. It's brand new. <laughs> oh, you're making me feel angry. I can't. See, that's what is that you smell. I yes. Like, that's why we in the garage, we don't leave it like this. We have a cover. So we actually found this the same day he posted this on Craigslist. And uh, we'll explain the 981 came in GTS when we get it back to the shop. But this is a fantastic car and we happened to find it. And what I think that I can repair. So I grabbed the small camera here. We ran here and uh, this is the initial damage that we can see. Now we can't see anything underneath really yet, but uh, oh God, yeah, this is definitely super bent. We gotta get this thing to the shop, figure out what's wrong with this, but Kevin here was kind enough to sell it to us and we gotta figure out how to get it back and get this thing back on the road, save it. We're gonna be bringing this Cayman GTS now this is where it gets tricky. I've never bought a crash damaged car before, much less a modern Porsche. Everything I'm looking at is superficial. The front tub, radiators, oil cooler, plastics, and more are absolutely destroyed. But also, I can't even really get a good look under the car to see if there's any damage underneath. But there's one thing that I do know, I want it. Oof. It's got the good seats. We've got the, oops, this is zoomed in. I'm sure these in. We've got the really good Cayman seats with all the adjustability. Oh, it's not gonna work right now. But uh, immediately on the interior, we have a steering wheel deployment. The steering wheel is completely, oh, I should think I should mention this, PDK. PDK, this is good. They only deployed this side because it was only Kevin in the car driving this, but uh, Oh, 2016, 9,000 miles, Cayman GTS. This is a special one. And I think this is gonna be a sick and fun build and something to really challenge ourselves with. So, like I said, we gotta get this thing home. Make sure that Kevin's not leaving anything in here. Wow, let's look in here. So clean. Wow. Oh, it still smells brand new too. So look at you. Mid-engine. So nice, man. Wow. Well, you guys definitely took really good care of it. Why you see now? Okay. Why you <laughs> tell me before? I thought, okay, you're not happy with that. How many times I need to tell you? I know I talk a lot. How many times I tell you? Even in the garage, we cover. Kevin, whenever I finish this, are you gonna come take a ride with me? No, no, I... <laughs> now that we've seen what's on the surface, the real underlying question is, does this car run? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to yaw. Yeah, you probably lift the airbag. You see how comfortable the, this. Yeah, step on the brake, turn this. Okay. You step on the brake, turn this. Yep. Oh. Nice. Just like that. 
I can use. Let me turn it off. Okay, great news. The car runs, but we can't drive it or keep it running. After inspecting the front of the car, from what I can see at least, it looks like both radiators are punctured and leaking. We can't risk anything happening to this engine. The one underlining concerning part is, we can't know for sure how deep this goes. We have to take a chance. And what's a life without chances? We, these years we take care of good care, we don't even drive it until this accident, then save it for you. Save good it for you. engine, mm -hmm. interior, paint, everything. When you talk about this, yeah, let's forget about it. Let's go from the rear thing. Yeah, we save everything for you. Maybe, right. maybe it was meant to be. Yeah, maybe. Well, you think you owe me, <laughs> right? You owe me. I don't know what yet, but life will go around and comes back. Around. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're gonna have. Know. We're gonna take care of her, rebuild her, and yeah. give her a second chance at life here, Kevin. Yeah. Don't worry. This is not difficult. Well, this is uh, really happening. Tow trucks here, and we made the deal. We have a 981 GTS. I can't believe that. At this point, we knew we were taking the car home. It's ours, paperweight or not. But while this gets loaded up, I guess it's time for a word from Kevin on what actually happened here. I uh, did an exchange, this one with this car. I oh. went out for <laughs> this and returned with this. Oh shit. Yeah, literally, I went to Starbucks. He went to Starbucks yeah. for a Before coffee I got Starbucks. and came back with this is what he said. <laughs> Watching this thing climb out of the flatbed really made it sink in. We're doing this. I don't know how, but we are. This is one for the books. I think so. I think we got a good one here. I'm so... Grab your shoes. Well, we're really doing it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'm nervous. But it'll be cool, right? It's gonna be amazing. You got a good feeling. Here we go. We'll see you at the shop. Kevin. Okay, Tiana. Okay. Thank you so right. much. Right. Okay. I'm excited. Okay. And maybe one day we'll ride together okay. in it. One day. Uh, okay. <laughs> one day. Before one day. I die, <laughs> I need to have a deal. Drive slow. Okay. Yes, sir. Drive slow. Be careful traveling. What in the... This Where do we is find literally this guy? the best story ever. Kevin is the best. Kevin is such a great time. What a what a guy. What a guy. Alright. Still a sweet guy asking about available. <laughs> <laughs> it's ours now, baby. New I don't adventure. Know. It's going to a good home. Definitely something put your seatbelt on. <laughs> Definitely something that's gonna challenge you guys for sure. And I also and bias towards this because I found this car. Yeah, you did. Find I found it. it. I I orchestrated all of it. It's a good story. I feel like it now. I, now that's what's so yeah, cool. Yeah. Now it. Now it's gonna have sentimental value for us. Yeah. That's the problem. I man. know. Now I'm gonna have to hold me to this, guys. Whenever we're done with the car and it's running and driving, we have got to get back in touch with Kevin and take Kevin on a drive when the car I is know. back together. I told him the ideas that we have for it, which we'll explain to you guys once we get back to the house, but. Kevin says right now he doesn't want to go in it, but whenever it's done and he sees it done, I think he's going to be excited. So hope you guys are ready for this new adventure as well. We're going to meet the tow truck driver at the shop. So we'll see you guys back at the shop. Now it's really real.
it's real. <laughs> Now the 981 Cayman GTS is special. This is the last of the naturally aspirated flat six that came in the actual Cayman. The car is mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, and makes 340 horsepower out of the flat six. It has all of the sounds. It's great for driving on track, but also great for driving on the street. You want the on-track performance, but the on-street comfortability, the GTS gives you that. Now, aside from the wreckage, there's a couple of things that make this car really amazing. Number one, Yes, it's a 2016 GTS, but this car has 9,080 original miles. And it has one really good thing going for it. It runs. Now that you guys have gotten the basic overview of this car, it's safe back at the shop. Now it's time to really dig in and see how bad this really is. Well, the secret is definitely out. Now that the video's out, it's released, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think? What do you think about the car? What do you think about the style of the content? Did you guys like the video? Let me know everything, because I am so curious. As for me, I am beyond stoked. I have really no experience with modern Porsches, other than the fact that I love them, I get to see them externally, but as far as driving experience and drivability and modification-wise, I have zero experience, which makes me super excited for this build. And this specific one, the GTS, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, 3.4, like this thing is going to be fantastic. And I'm super excited. But like always, I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Now, this is something that's completely new to us, completely untapped. Um, this is definitely the biggest and the scariest build that we have ever done. Essentially, we're completely removing the front end of this car and putting a new one on, which you guys will see more later. And the reason why that's so scary is because a lot of these Porsche parts, which I had no idea about when purchasing this car, are quote unquote restricted. And again, you'll see more about that in the coming episodes. Actually, currently right now, I can't show you the front of the car. We have made a lot of progress, which you guys will see in the coming episodes. Next episode is gonna be us fully stripping this car, finding out what's wrong with it, and seeing what in the heck we actually have to do. To end this video, um, I was editing this, and I realized there's a couple of points that I kind of missed that I wanted to bring up in this initial episode, and that is the previous owners of this car completely spec this thing out fully. I didn't mention this, and I don't, we talked about it on camera with Kevin. <laughs> Freaking Kevin. The owner spec this out brand new. They, they ordered this from Porsche, completely spec'd, waited for the car, bought it brand new. So everything in here is spec'd exactly how they wanted it. They got the carbon package, they did the red tachometer, they did even the red vents, which these are a, a very expensive option. These are all hand painted and usually they'll just come black, but they have a hand painted option that you can get it in red to match the tachometer here. This one's a little bit brighter. You guys can see that. So all of this is specced perfect. And I'm actually super, super pumped. I mean, we cut such a sick find. Now we got a lot of work to do, but this is such an epic car. Now, why we really, really wanted this car is Unfortunately for them, since they never really drove this car, like you guys saw in the video, it's a 2016 with only 9,000 original miles. Since they never drove this car, they didn't have collision insurance. So this car still is clean title, will show no accidents or anything, and once we fix this, it'll be, it'll be perfect and ready to go. Clean title, which is absolutely insane. But like I said, it's scary. It's definitely a huge risk that we're taking on, but I think the outcome is gonna be insane, and I really hope you guys are excited for this one. It's something so different, so unique to at least us. I think it's gonna be an awesome journey, and I can't wait to take you guys along for literally the biggest build that we have ever done. If you guys are watching this right now, leave in the comments down below if I should cut this off and give this away to one of you guys in one of the upcoming episodes, but you gotta watch to make sure that we can do that. Um, anyways, like I said, leave me your thoughts down below. What do you guys think? Did you guys like the video style? I get to put like a cinematic twist on my vlog style. I love film and cinema and being able to like kind of mesh that with this style of vlog content is something that I love. So I hope you guys like it too. But main takeaways from this little end, from this little end piece, completely specked out. Very, very nice touches with the red tachometer, the red vents, the carbon package, PDK, all Alcantara. The seats are leather, Alcantara. 
Alcantara headliner, A pillars. I mean, it is. Oh my! Look at the, I don't even recognize. Look at this. We have carbon. Oh, well, the, this is carbon, but we have carbon cup holders. This is freaking sick. We got two cup. Oh my god. We're cruising. We are cruising, baby. This is gonna be so good. This made me just so happy right now. <laughs> Dude, there's still coffee on the dash. Oh my god. And my favorite part is it smells. It smells like a brand new Porsche. You know that that Porsche leather Alcantara smell? This has it. And I am over the moon. I'm so pumped. Anyways, I'm going to shut up now. I'm rambling on. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. It'll be coming out next Friday. I'm going to try and do at least one upload a week on this car until we finish it. Hopefully the timeline lines up that way. But if something takes longer, then it takes longer. Stay tuned. You're not going to miss these episodes. It's going to be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Let's try and get at least, let's try and get 5,000 likes on this video. Can we get 5,000 likes? That would be awesome. Make sure to leave me a hashtag made it to the end. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. We are 5,000 away from 800K, which is incredible. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you for the next episode. Peace out. Wait, 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 wait. before I end, Look at that. The sticker is still on the footrest down here. They didn't even take the sticker off the footrest. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Mm -hmm.